In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and wire a dead-end three-way switch. Now, this is a situation where you've got one light and one switch, but the room is big enough where you think you might benefit from having two three-way switches. It's a fairly easy job, but you will have to fish one set of wires over to a secondary switch. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so what we have here is a standard single pole switch to a light. This is the standard one location for a switch, and you've got your power coming in to the switch, your power is leaving the switch and going to the light, your neutrals are all tied together, your grounds are tied together. Nothing fancy about this, right? But you might have a situation where the house builder cheaped out on you, or the electrician cheaped out, or somebody cheaped out, and it was an ideal situation for a three-way switch where you had two switching locations, but they just didn't do that. But now you want to add a three-way switch. Well, you don't have to change the configuration of the whole thing. I'm going to show you a very easy way to do this so that you can make it work. I'm not going to bother to show you how to route your wire because every house is going to be different. Your wire is going to route differently than my wire. So... We're not going to waste time on that aspect. I've got plenty of videos, if you look through my channel, on routing wires and running wires and stuff like that if you need some ideas. But let's go ahead and, and shut the power off is the first thing you want to do. And I like to test with my non-contact voltage tester. We have power. Power is off. I like to verify it that way. I want to see it work and then I want to see the power cut off. If you're finding any value in this video, please subscribe to this channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Okay, so I've gone ahead and removed the switch, but I left the wiring all the same so that you can see what changes I'm going to need to make. Now to run this to the other secondary switch, you do need to run a 12.3. Oh, well, in this case, I'm running a 12.3. You should determine what size breaker your circuit is on. Like if you're on a 15 amp breaker, then you're safe to use 14 gauge wire. I'm using 12.3 because it's actually what I had laying around. So make sure not to mix your wires up and use the proper gauge wire. But to run that over to the next switch, right, you just need to run one run of 12.3. Or if you have an attic, you can run the wire up into the attic and over. If you're running on an outside wall, it will make it more difficult to do that. Uh, one trick that I like to use is, is to remove the baseboard and run the wire down to the baseboard and then cut a channel behind where the baseboard goes and run your wire inside that channel right there. I actually did a video on that a while back I'll link to to give you some ideas. And that will work if you're on a couple of different walls as long as they're all connected together and you don't have a space like a hallway in between where now the wire's got to jump across the hallway. You know what I mean? So that'll work great too. But if you do have a hallway, maybe you have a crawl space or maybe you have an attic and that kind of situation will work too. All right, so let's uh, let's do the easy one first and we're going to hook up our 12.3. Now I usually like to leave about eight inches from the back of the box, right? My pliers are approximately eight inches long, so I will run it approximately the length of the pliers I think the code is six inches from the back of the box, but I actually like just a little bit extra wire right there. Now you might be thinking, there is a code that says you have to have a neutral at every switch location or at most switch locations. But in this case, as long as you can see the switch, like if you can see the second switch from the first switch, both switches are visible, Actually, code 404.2C, I believe it is. You don't need a neutral in the secondary location as long as the primary location has the neutral. So keep that in mind as well. So I will peel these back. Go ahead and bend my loops in them. Now I'm going to use the white wire as my common wire and the red and the black wires as my travelers. So I'm putting the white on the common. And then we'll use the red and the black for our travelers. And 
And then of course green is ground. So that one's ready to go. And we'll just run our other wire. Let's get these out of the way here. Now all we got to do is hook it all up. All right, so here we are in our original switch location. I've left the wires there for the light coming in right here. You had that already. And the power coming in, we had that already. It's the only thing we've added is the 12.3 or the 14.3, which may be in your case. Now I've left the grounds tied together and I've left the common coming in to the common light. All right, here's the one that goes to the light. That's the B plus coming in. Those two are still tied together. What we need to do, here's this one. This is our 12.3, is these three wires right here, okay? We need to take the white wire, which I put on the common screw on the other three-way switch right here. If you've noticed, I've added some black tape to that to indicate that that's hot in case somebody down the road gets the idea, oh, here's a white wire, it must not be hot, and they touch it and get zapped. So we're gonna tie our white wire, our common wire, to our light. This is our light hot wire, all right? Tie these two together. And we'll go ahead and add a wire nut. All right, now normally you would stuff all these inside the box, but I'm just gonna leave them out so you can see them. Now these two are our travelers, Right? On the other switch, we've got those hooked to the travelers. We're going to hook those to the travelers on the new switch. Hook the ground back up. And here's our power coming from the fuse panel, from the wall. And that goes straight to the black screw, or the common screw, on our three-way switch. That's how you know a three-way is working right when you don't get anything funny going on. On, off, on, off. It all works. Beautiful. So I hope that made sense. So basically, we have our hot coming in to our first three-way. This is our original switch location. All right, that power is leaving on the travelers, depending on the position of the switch. It's coming over here on the travelers, right? And then it's leaving on the black screw when we turn our switch on. On, on the white wire, coming back here on the white wire, right? And then that is going to our light. So that's it. Our commons are tied together and our grounds are tied together. They don't affect the circuit. So I hope that all made sense. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.